five starts with Mr. Fell trying to organise the Wickford Street Shop I never have to association say... monthly meeting. Well done. Thank I never you. have to say the line. The people who do, I really feel sorry for them because yeah. every time I you turn this while I'm dancing. <laughs> So in episode five, we have a, a ballroom scene. It originally is supposed to be a meeting of the uh, of local business owners and, and the council. Um, and I am going to be presiding over that. So obviously very, very strict on about bins and parking once again. But it doesn't quite end up that way. And there's a few, um, shall we say, un unhealthy elements that then decide to join us and, uh, and ruin it and uh, take all the chairs, which I am furious about. Literally the entire, entire cast is going to fit in in that, so that's going to be a miracle in itself. It's like a TARDIS. We've got to dance and talk at the same time. Really gave me some respect for those people in, in those Jane Austen movies who do all those wooing scenes whilst doing a very convoluted dance. It's really tricky. We, we just all lined up in our rows and we'd had this little dancing rehearsal a couple of nights before and we'd sort of, we'd had another little rehearsal the day before. And then we were just, then we were just dancing. It's very typical of Michael that he found, he found it incredibly difficult to do, but then appears to be on the brink of, of being crowned the Strictly Ballroom Champion of the Year. We all had um, little earpieces in, so I think the crew may have thought we were just slightly bananas because you just suddenly all start moving at the same time. It was a very technical few days, but actually they were really lovely. And, and actually to have everybody there as well, it was quite a fun party atmosphere, you know, between takes. It was really fun. It was a lot of hard work, but it was, it was, it was really fun seeing everybody in their, in their outfits and gear and enjoying the, the madness of it. I mean, the anticipation for this was huge. I really loved seeing all the other characters from our street. They're all so completely individual and lovely. They're all just really interesting and unexpected types. Neil wanted some of them to come through the door and have changed. So you'll see, for instance, Maggie, when she, she walks across the street, she's in her day clothes, and when she appears at the ball, she's transformed into something which is slightly more, slightly more party-esque. She's got a kind of satin shirt on to reflect the atmosphere of the evening because they all think they're going to a normal meeting, boring meeting. They get there and Aziraphale has created this scene. He's pushed back the chairs. He's going to do a bit of Regency dancing. Everybody got a slightly kind of heightened version of what they wore during the day. The bookshop is the epicenter of our universe. And the set has been dressed so beautifully by Michael Ralph and Bronwyn. It's just, it's gorgeous. I wanted everything to waltz and become in your eyes and in camera to become um, a Jane Austen novel. And for that to happen, um, I, I created this narrative I wrote out about how all the bookshelves could turn and how the backs would be covered in mirrors and chandeliers would fall and everything would be beautiful and, and shining and gleaming. But it was all about the set, Aziraphale making that set a beautiful place and, and letting it happen in camera that made that dream happen. So the demons have uh, surrounded Mr. Fell's bookshop and we're all humans, we are all, we're all trapped inside and we can't get out. Uh, and they've sort of, sort of struck a deal that humans can get out uh, under the protection of, uh, of Crowley. Uh, I take it into my, my own hands though, as, as one does, to sort of go, no, 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 I, can, I think we'll find I can deal with this. And I come up to the threshold, and the threshold is the barrier between demons and safety. And uh, yeah, I, I literally overstep the mark. Mr. Brown is suddenly pulled out of the shop to his great surprise. I put Tim actually on the screen trolley that we can paint out the trolley afterwards. Uh, and, and so what you've got is, is like a perfect combination of, of very old-fashioned stunt work uh, and then something that's very contemporary with the green sort of trolley. When I'm pulled out of the bookshop, I'm then going to travel through the demons, as it were, about being yanked all the way through. Could end up in the flowers, could end up in hell. I'm wondering if he's going to go so far, yeah. his moustache will be left <gasps> in the same place. I think I'm excellent. Yeah.